Hi guys, let's look at the first question. Okay, a student is running a sport event. Okay, and diagram shows distance time graph, right? Distance time graph. Okay, distance time graph to illustrate his running. Okay, for first 14 seconds, he ran 100 meter. Okay. Then additional another 10 seconds, he ran another 100 meter. Right? Okay, so the first question, okay, distance is a scalar or vector quantity. Okay, distance has no direction. Okay, distance has no direction okay so it is a color quantity okay so what is the quantity for vector okay displacement okay this placement okay this is vector quantity okay displacement we have direction all right the next question Okay, V1, based on diagram, calculate the speed of a student at section AB. Okay, where is section AB? Here, this is section AB. Okay, so uh, speed is equal to distance divided with time. Okay, so in this case, uh, what is the distance travel uh, total distance travel from A to B is 200 minus 100 okay divide with time taken from A to B is 24 minus 14 so here you get 100 here you get 10 okay continue here so when you divide you get 10 meter per second right okay next uh, next question B2 okay compare compare the speed of the student at OA and AB okay at this point Okay, you can see that this graph is less steep than AB, right? Okay, the gradient, eh? okay, let's compare the gradient, okay, we can, just by seeing this, we can see, okay, gradient of OA is lesser than gradient of A. In this graph, okay, the gradient is equal to speed. Okay, it represents speed. Okay, because we divide distance with time. Alright, so the answer is speed of OA is lesser than AB. Alright, next question, B3, determine the total distance travelled by the student. Okay, the total distance travelled by the student is, maximum is 200. Okay, 200, don't forget the unit, 200 meter. Done. Okay, let's look at the question C. Based on the following aspect, give suggestions on how running time can be shortened okay how to reduce the time taken uh, to complete the race okay first aspect is given is attire so what type of attire we can uh, wear the athlete or the student okay the attire must, must be fitting fit okay fit the body okay why because 
okay it can reduce okay air resistance okay kurangkan rintangan angin okay right the next aspect given is shoe okay what okay what type of shoe uh, the student can wear to reduce or shorten the time okay he can uh, wear shoe with stud okay shoe with stud why okay stud can give more grip on the ground okay on the ground okay next is equipment okay what equipment we can use to reduce or to shorten the time okay so we can use starting block starting block okay why starting block starting block produce large forward momentum okay so the marks allocated is six so here you get one mark here one mark here one mark okay uh, here one mark here and here so six in total 